Hello again and welcome to another episode of the Ominous Origins Podcast with me, Casey. Of course, this episode is still brought to you by the wonderful people over at MorbidlyBeautiful.com. Morbidly Beautiful is your one-stop shop for all things horror content related from interviews, reviews, top ten lists, and of course, everything in between. I'm sorry again for being so late with stuff. I know, I know, I'm a terrible podcast host and content creator, but every once in a while you get the burnout. It happens Happens to me a lot. I got a lot going on, so sometimes these things just take a little bit of a break. Take a back seat, if you will. But I'm never going to stop fully. I promise you that. I will always come back at some point in time. And you may remember last episode, I said, hey, I was watching a bird called Jack. He's still around. I've moved him into another room, but you can still probably hear him screaming because he just loves me so much. That's okay, Jack. That's okay. You can come back in in a little bit. We're going to start this week off with... A 2009 case, an unsolved case, about the Jameson family. One day, they just disappeared. The case has captivated the public's imagination for over a decade, leaving us with more questions than answers. So, get comfy, because we might be here a while. This is The Jameson Family Disappearances. Ominous. Ominous. It is an adjective. Sounds like someone breathing. Ominous. On October 8, 2009, Bobby Dale Jameson and his wife Sherry Lynn and their young daughter Madison disappeared without a trace near Red Oak Mountain in Latimer County, Oklahoma. The family had embarked on a trip to search for a suitable plot of land to build their dream home, but tragically they never returned nor did they ever really get there. The initial investigation into their disappearance revealed a bizarre set of circumstances. Their truck was discovered abandoned on a remote dirt road with the family's dog, Maisie, inside. Inside the truck, authorities found the family's belongings, including their IDs, wallets, and a significant sum of cash. This led investigators to rule out a robbery as a motive. To make the case even more puzzling, a series of haunting photographs were discovered on the Jameson's camera. The pictures were taken shortly before their disappearance and depicted the family wearing strange, distressed expressions. Some photos even showed Bobby Dale holding a handwritten note that read, This is our last photo. These eerie images raised more questions than they answered, naturally. The investigation unfolded, and the Jamesons' troubled past came to light. Reports emerged of their involvement in occult practices and a fascination with the paranormal. Friends and family described them as reclusive and eccentric, lending a sense of mystery to their lives. Some theories suggest that their beliefs and involvement in the occult might have led to their untimely demise, but as we all know from Satanic Panic back in the 90s and 80s, probably wasn't the case. In the years following their disappearance, multiple theories have emerged. Some speculated that the Jamesons fell victim to foul play, potentially as a result of their drug-related activities, as the family had a history of drug use. Others believed that the family had staged their own disappearance, seeking to start a new life away from prying eyes. However, despite extensive searches including cadaver dogs, aerial sweeps, and countless tips from the public, no trace of the Jamesons were ever found. The case grew cold, leaving investigators and the public frustrated and desperate for answers. In 2013, four years after their disappearance, a break in the case occurred when hunters stumbled upon skeletal remains in the vicinity of where the Jameson's truck was found. Unfortunately, the remains were too degraded and they were unable to conclusively identify them belonging to the Jameson family. The cause of their death remains undetermined, leaving the case open and hauntingly unsolved. Since then, numerous theories have continued to circulate. Some believe that the Jamesons may have encountered foul play from local individuals involved in criminal activities. Others speculate that their deaths may have been the result of an accidental overdose or a violent episode stemming from their troubled relationship. The disappearance and subsequent murders of the Jameson family have left an indelible mark on the community and all those who have followed the case. The lack of definitive answers have fueled countless discussions, conspiracy theories, and internet sleuthing. And today we find ourselves at a crossroad. A decade after the Jameson family has disappeared, will this mystery ever be solved? Only time will tell. Until then, we have to continue to remember the Jamesons and their tragic end, hoping that one day justice will be served and the truth revealed. But that's not all. 
One aspect that has intrigued investigators and armchair detectives alike is the strange behavior exhibited by the Jamesons in the days leading up to their disappearance. According to reports, the family had been acting unusually paranoid and fearful. They shared concerns with friends and family about being watched and even claimed that their home was haunted. Some have speculated that the Jamesons' erratic behavior could be attributed to drug use as they did have that history of substance abuse. This theory suggests that the family may have been under the influence of drugs during their final moments, leading to hallucinations or even altered mental states. Others believe that the Jamesons' fascination with the occult played a significant role in their demise. Occult symbols were indeed found on the abandoned truck and in their home, adding to the mystery surrounding their beliefs and potential involvement in dark practices. It has been suggested that their interest in the paranormal may have led them into dangerous territory where they encountered individuals or forces beyond their control. Albeit, forces beyond their control is a little unlikely, but we'd never want to rule anything out. We've all seen paranormal activity and what can happen when you fuck with a Ouija board. So don't fuck with the Ouija board, people, and let those demons in. God, grandma doesn't say hi, I promise you that. But I digress. Additionally, some theories propose that the Jamesons may have stumbled upon something they shouldn't have during their search for land. The remote area where they disappeared is known for its criminal activity, including drug trafficking and illegal operations. It's possible that they inadvertently witnessed something that put them in harm's way, resulting in their tragic fate. And doesn't that just seem like the most likely scenario? I mean, you're in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of dark, in a remote area where crime is prevalent. You just watched Tony Soprano put a bullet in some guy's head and, well, he saw you, so you're next. Now, despite the passage of time, the case of the Jameson family remains open and actively investigated. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation continues to receive tips and leads from the public, hoping that one crucial piece of information will finally break the case wide open. The case has also gained the attention of the true crime community, like this podcast, with internet sleuths dissecting every detail, scrutinizing the photographs, and proposing their own theories. The power of collective online investigation has sometimes proven instrumental in solving cold cases, and it is possible that this case may benefit from a fresh set of eyes and a new perspective. And as always, when I do cold cases, it's my hope that somebody listens to this and goes, hey... You know what, I'm going to look into this, and maybe that person will break the case. Or maybe it'll get them interested, or maybe they'll be like, oh shit, yeah, you know what, I do know something. Despite all the other media out there, maybe my podcast will be the one that gets somebody into high gear. So if you do know something, contact your local authorities. Not that I think this will do anything, but the more attention any cold case can get, the better. Now we've gone over some more of the popular theories revolving this case. Let's go into some of the more interesting and even deeper alternative theories and potential leads that have emerged over the years. One theory that has gained attraction among investigators is the possibility of cult involvement as we've gone over. Given the Jameson's reported interest in the occult and strange behavior leading up to their disappearance, some speculate that they may have crossed paths with a cult or have been targeted by one. It is important to note that, however, no concrete evidence linking the family to a cult has ever been truly discovered except for some symbols in their truck and home. Another line of inquiry revolves around the remote and rugged terrain where the Jameson's truck was found abandoned. Some suggest that they had an unfortunate encounter with some wildlife, perhaps a bear or even a mountain lion, and that met them a tragic end while they were trying to protect themselves. Others believe that maybe harsh weather conditions in the area could have played a role, like a sudden storm or extreme temperatures might have contributed to their demise. But that does not explain the pictures that were taken shortly before their death, with one of them saying, this is our last photograph. That seems a little malicious and a little ominous, unless bears learned how to take people hostage, which, if they have, R.I.P. humanity. One thing that is a little curious is the absence of a clear motive or suspect that made the investigation challenging. Without any definitive evidence pointing to foul play, accident, or self-harm, law enforcement has been left with more questions than answers, which is often the case when it comes to these kinds of scenarios. Nevertheless, investigators have never given up on solving this perplexing case. Over the years, multiple tips have poured in from individuals who claim to have seen or heard something relevant to the Jameson family's disappearance. While some tips have led to dead ends, others have sparked renewed hope for a breakthrough. Each new piece of information is meticulously examined and cross-referenced, bringing investigators closer to the truth. 
Now, also, technology has come a long way in the last 13, 14, 15 years or so, and has played a crucial role in re-examining this case. Advances in forensic techniques and DNA analysis have allowed investigators to revisit the evidence collected from the Jameson's abandoned truck and the surrounding area. It's possible that with more modern investigative tools, previously overlooked details could come to light and provide the missing puzzle pieces needed to crack the case. Beyond the official investigation, the Jamison family disappearances continue to capture public attention, inspiring discussion and theories on various true crime forms and social media platforms. As mentioned, the power of the collective brainstorming and information sharing cannot be underestimated, as passionate individuals continue to collaborate and provide fresh insights into this unsolved mystery. Speaking of this unsolved mystery, more than just the people involved have been affected, the community that they were a part of, that they were moving to, have also felt the impact of this case. The disappearance and most likely subsequent murders of the Jameson family shook the small community of Red Oak Mountain and sent shockwaves through Latimer County, Oklahoma. The tight-knit community rallied together, organizing search parties and distributing flyers in a desperate attempt to find any trace of the missing family. The sense of fear and unease that permeated the area during the search remains etched in the memories of those who lived through those harrowing days. The unsolved nature of the case has a lasting impact on the community, leaving behind a sense of lingering sorrow and a pervasive feeling of vulnerability. After all, this family was most likely murdered by somebody, and that somebody is still around. The tragedy serves as a constant reminder that no one is immune to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. It has fostered a renewed emphasis on community safety and vigilance, with residents banding together to protect one another and ensure that similar events do not occur in the future. The media coverage surrounding the Jameson family murders brought national attention to the case, sparking widespread speculation and intense public interest. The mysterious circumstances, coupled with the eerie photographs and the family's unusual background, captured the imagination of true crime enthusiasts across the country. Online discussion boards and social media platforms became pedestals for exchanging theories and sharing information and attempting to solve the puzzle that this case presents. The impact the Jameson family case extends beyond the boundaries of Latimer County. Their story serves as a reminder of the many unsolved cases that haunt the true crime landscape. It highlights the dedicated efforts of law enforcement agencies and the tireless work of investigators who tirelessly pursue justice, even in the face of immense challenges. The Jameson family's tragic fate has also raised broader questions about the limitations of the criminal justice system. It certainly underscores the complexities of investigating cases where evidence is scarce, theories are abound, and the truth remains elusive. The case has prompted discussions about the need for improved resources, technological advancements, and collaborative efforts to help solve such perplexing mysteries. As the years go by, it is crucial not to forget the victims at the center of this case. Bobby Dale Jameson, Sherilyn Jameson, and their young daughter Madison. Behind the speculation and the theories and the three individuals who lost their lives in a manner still unknown to us, it is essential that their memories do live on and that we continue to seek justice on their behalf. I say this all the time when it comes to true crime cases, we have to remember the victims. They are the only people that matter in these cases. When we start glorifying killers and criminals and people just want to become those things, nobody wants to be a victim. So it's not the flattering part of the story, but we have to remember that these people literally lost their lives and we have to figure out who did it, put them away, and forget about the people who committed the crime forever. No more Netflix shows or documentaries about serial killers, I swear to God. They're fun and interesting, sure, but I mean, how much glory do we need to give people who committed heinous, terrible, brutal crimes? I digress, though. Now, I do hope that shedding light on this mystery may contribute to the ongoing conversation surrounding this perplexing case. The more attention it receives, the higher the chances of crucial information coming to light. So as this episode comes to an end, I do encourage you to keep the memory of the Jameson family alive, share their story, discuss the case with others, and remain vigilant to protect yourself at all costs. Together, we can maybe hopefully work towards finding some sort of answer that has eluded us for far too long. My name is Casey, and thank you for listening to this episode of the Ominous Origins Podcast. If you did like what you heard, please feel free to leave a review on Apple iTunes or leave a rating on Spotify. I think you can do so only on the mobile app so far. So if you have Spotify on your phone, hit the little five-star button. 
let me know if you did, and I will give you a shout-out. Speaking of shout-outs, I did receive an email from a fella named Omar, who said he left a review on one of the platforms. I'm not sure which one, but if you did, I thank you for that. Uh, I will get back to you shortly. I'm just trying to do some stuff at home and at work and all that kind of stuff, but I will get back to you very shortly, Omar. Thank you once again for leaving that review. If you do want to reach out to me, you can do so via email, or you can do so on social medias, which is probably the best place, on Instagram at Ominous Origins Pod, or on Facebook at Horror Shots. So, until next time.